You right. guys, it is snowing. Hard, hard snow. On Easter, what? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Today on She's in Her Apron, I'm gonna show you, on purpose, a horrible way to make a cake. You take one bite and you're like, mm, and then it's just <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. Today we're celebrating our Easter and I'm taking you guys along with me as I cook and prepare. You guys love when I do this for Thanksgiving and Christmas and you asked if I could do it for Easter and absolutely, so come along with me today. So let's start in the morning. Let's go back a bit. Happy Easter everybody. So the Easter Bunny came to our house and he brought something very simple this year and uh looks like a bucket wrapped up in cellophane with a whole bunch of goodies in here lots of things jelly beans and tootsie rolls and chocolate bunnies and i, I don't even know lots of stuff tied in a bow you know i think i saw something similar to this at costco so i think uh I think maybe the Easter Bunny took it pretty easy this year. That's a pretty smart bunny. But, uh, yep, that's their Easter baskets this year. So today for our menu, we're going to need our ham. And we're going to do that in the slow cooker. Um, I want to do rolls, deviled eggs. I'm going to put potato salad that way. I could bring it upstairs. I have carrots down. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. So that that's a big maybe. Uh, we have the lemon cake. And if I don't do the carrots, we'll just do a salad. So we'll see. But that's good. We have our protein. We have rolls. Leftover potato salad that we had from dinner um, Friday night. And we made a lot of it. So I was going to do yams. I'm craving sweet potatoes right now, but that's not going to happen. So ham, rolls, deviled eggs, potato salad, maybe carrots, lemon cake, and salad. So that is our menu. So we're doing a ham for Easter. And this I grabbed from Sam's Club, Members Mark. Yep. And I've never had their ham before. I've had Costco's ham. So we're going to give this a try. This is a bone-in spiral ham, uh, hickory smoked, so it should be really good. Hickory smoked, brown brown sugar glazed packet inside. So I do have a video on how you can do a uh, ham in your slow cooker, and I'll leave that down below. But uh, let's get this in the slow cooker. So I'm going to put a little bit of brown sugar at the bottom. Put in a layer. This brown sugar was getting a little dry. Place that on top. Now, of course, this is going to be bigger than my slow cooker. Sometimes I'm able to chop off this part, even with this bone. So there's been a time I've been able to do that. But if you are home and you're not going anywhere, you can um, wrap this in aluminum foil and that'll work fine. It'll keep the heat in. I've done that plenty of times and shared that with you. Just don't leave the house with it like that. It's not safe, I'm sure. I mean, I haven't heard anything where people have caused a fire or anything, but I can't imagine that it's safe. So we are home. I'm going to be in the kitchen all day. So I think what I'm going to do is just wrap this in aluminum foil. But first, we still need to do a little bit more to this. I already had some pineapple that I used in the fridge this week. So I'm just going to do that. You need clove with ham. You just do. I'm just sprinkling clove. If you have little cloves that you can um, pick on them, I would, I would do that. That you could just press in. And then I'm going to sprinkle some more brown sugar on top. And then I'm going to get the cover on, which is going to be my aluminum foil. So I'm going to cook it on low. So, all right, that is going. So we did sleep in today. I mean, it is um, almost 8.30. 
I didn't wake up till 8, so we did sleep in. We have some Zoom calls today and things, and so I don't want a late dinner, so we're going to do early. All right, I'm going to show you the fast version. The video is linked below, but you're going to need a yellow cake mix. We're going to put it in two cake pans, round cake pans, and you're going to bake as follows, and then you're going to need two three ounces, or if you could find a six ounce, lemon jello. We're going to... Um, make this just with the hot water part not the cold water and then that pours all over the cake we'll poke it I'll show it to you later you're also going to need a box of uh, the three ounce of the lemon instant pudding we're gonna mix that with some cool whip that's our frosting so all right let's get this cake in their pans Yes, I only have one beater. I have the worst luck with these machines. One of the beaters broke, so fantastic. I just have the worst luck. I'm gonna grease my pans with some shortening. Now I'm gonna try to pour them evenly in. So I'm going to get them in the oven and it looks like they're going to cook for around 25 minutes. For breakfast, we're going to crack open these eggs the kids decorated last night. Look how cute. Aww, they turned out really good. So we're going to have some eggs for breakfast. We're just going to crack them and mm -hmm, we're going to have hard boiled eggs. Alright, the kids are on an egg hunt. So I am going to work on this. I have, I have two cups of boiling water and I'm going to dissolve the jello mix in there. All right, turn the heat off. We're going to dissolve that. The, the cakes have cooled off. I got to poke some holes in there with a fork and then we'll pour, once this cools a bit, this is too hot, I'll pour it over the cakes and then get those in the refrigerator downstairs to set for a while. Mmm, this jello smells good. That is gonna cool. All right, I'm gonna poke the cake. If you guys have made this cake before from watching the video, will you let me know what you think? I might have to go back to that video and look at it, the comments. This is one of our favorite cakes. So we really only have this cake um, during the spring. You don't, unless I make it for something in the summer, we only have it the one time a year. Now we're going to pour this on. I didn't want it too hot and ruin the cake. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so I'm going to put these in the refrigerator, and they're going to stay in there until we're ready to use them. You guys, it is snowing. Hard, hard snow. On Easter. What? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. I'm going to start on some deviled eggs. I have 11 eggs in here. I'm going to high pressure them for four minutes, and then we'll put them in an ice bath and yeah. get them ready. So Shaylee shared with me one of her peeps. Boston says he loves me, but... He really loves his peeps, so. He didn't want to share. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it's my favorite Easter candy. Love a good peep. Once the eggs are out of the Instant Pot, I'm gonna get them in an ice bath. And uh, I'm gonna prepare them, get them all ready, put them in the refrigerator downstairs, and then I'm gonna go 
finally shower and get ready for today. All right, I've got an ice bath here. I'm just gonna grab these eggs and drop them in. There we go. All right, they're gonna have a little bath for a couple of minutes and then I'll peel them and get them ready. I have a video on how to do my deviled eggs down below, so definitely go check it out. the shell just comes off these instapot eggs i mean if you only buy an instapot just to do the eggs it's so worth it i found a new trick what derek you can boil them in a normal pan but you put a slice of lemon in there and the acidity makes the shells fall right off what where'd you learn that on the youtubes on the tiktokers oh my gosh so it has to be true <laughs> This is a plastic jar of mayonnaise. We like to buy the big jars of mayonnaise from like Costco. And so with this refrigerator, we don't want the big jar of mayonnaise in there. It just takes up a lot of space. So once we open it, we're putting it in these containers, filling a container up, putting the other big jar down in the downstairs refrigerator, and then just refilling it in here. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna be starting on the rolls, but I'm out of all-purpose flour, so I have this bag downstairs in our food room. I'm just gonna fill up this container. I'm gonna start on some Hawaiian sweet rolls. I've never made them before, always wanted to, and I just think that just sounds perfect with dinner. You need a half a cup of warm milk, two and one-fourth teaspoons of yeast, and we're gonna let this sit and dissolve for um, five minutes. Okay, add three fourths cup pineapple juice, a fourth cup of sugar, then a third cup of oil, and we're gonna need one egg, one and three fourths teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna whisk that together. Okay, I'm gonna add three and a half cups of flour, but we're gonna do this while it's mixing. I'm gonna add tablespoons of flour so that way it'll get um, a pulled away from the sides of the bowl. And then I'm gonna drop that in there and we're gonna cover it and it's going to rise in a warm place until doubled. And the recipe says it could take about one to one and a half to two hours, so we'll see. Okay, I am now gonna clean this mess up. It's glorious, isn't it? And now, once this is cleaned up, I will get in the shower and get partied up, so. ham is done before I went up in the shower I turned it off and I put it on warm it cooked uh, it started for about an hour on high and then just a couple of hours on low and I think with that aluminum foil it like heated it up quicker so it's just sitting on warm and I just tasted some and it's so good I'm gonna take a peek at the rolls see how they're doing It's rising, but it's not doubled yet. So I'm gonna stick this back in there. I just refill this egg carton. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. 
During Easter, I go through a lot of eggs, but this Easter not so much because we haven't had all the parties and everything. I'm not making as much, but that's sad. It's sad, so I'm gonna get these into the fridge and the rest of those will go down in the basement. All right, I got my whip topping out. Got my pudding, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna go downstairs and get the cake out of the refrigerator and we're going to assemble it. Oh, I can't wait to shove it in my mouth. It's so good. Literally, it's like you take one bite and you're like, mm, and then it's just something like that. All right, what I did was I grabbed a baking sheet. I have very hot water at the bottom of it and I just placed the cookie pan I just placed the cake pans down because it's going to like thaw out the bottom where the jello is hitting the pan with the cake and then that way they'll slide right out and we can work with them. Uh, it does not exist. I don't have that cake pan anymore. There's no way I would have gotten rid of it. You're not talking pan. No, I'm talking You're a talking the, round the round thing cake. with the big top. Yeah. Yeah. I do not it's not down there. Oh no. I know I packed it. <laughs> I'm still trying to find things in the move. Alright, I'll see what I can find. If not, Sorry, I will use another um, cake stand that I have. Dang it. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the pudding and then combine these two together. And then I'm going to stick that bowl back in the refrigerator so it could set up and then we'll frost the cake. I forgot about that because you want it nice and firm and oh my gosh I could eat this with this spoon oh my word so I'm gonna make this and then get it in the refrigerator and then after maybe about an hour then I'll come in and frost the cake yep. all right I'm gonna set this in the refrigerator cover it set it and then we'll frost oh my gosh I almost forgot the powdered sugar <laughs> I tasted it and I'm like this doesn't taste right oh I forgot the powdered sugar all right you know, you want to know what else I did wrong? I was too quick. I was only supposed to use one cup of milk when making the pudding. I just made the pudding according to the recipe, and it would have been much sweeter and more lemon taste. I screwed up, but oh well. So yeah, see, I got ahead of myself. It still tastes great, but it's not as potent of the lemon, but that's okay, because we've got it all running through our cake. I thought I had it memorized, but when I only make it once, a year. Yum, that's good. All right. Not the perfect as it usually is, but it'll still be delicious. All right, I just took out the deviled eggs. I just gave my brother-in-law four. He's home, he has diabetes, he's very scared to go out, and he's just being very precautious, which he should. And so my mother-in-law is running him over a plate of food, and he loves our deviled eggs, so I gave him some. So he can have a happy, happy Easter. The tablescape I just kept very simple. I have this shimmery, it's got gold, shimmery gold in the tablecloth. And then I just grabbed the wreath off the wall here in the kitchen and then put the statue of Christ in Gethsemane in the middle. And that is our tablescape for our Easter dinner. Okay, let's get going on these rolls. I think I'll bake them in this big guy. This is as big as it's gonna get, and we need to get these puppies in the oven. So, I'm gonna punch this down. Didn't even need to be punched. Oh boy, this could get interesting. Again, first time making it. All right, we are going to divide these um, into 12 balls. All right, I divided my dough into 12 balls as best as I could. Some are bigger than others, but oh well. So we'll cover this in plastic, let it sit and rise for another 30 minutes, and then we'll bake it at 375 degrees um, for about 20 minutes. But before we put it in the oven, we're gonna brush it with some egg whites. All right, we're gonna work on the cake. I put some parchment paper down and then I'll pull it out and it'll be all pretty once I'm done frosting. Got a little messy, but I got it on there. Oh my gosh, all right. Now I'm gonna get the icing. It's 
still a little runny, but I'm gonna end up putting this whole cake in the fridge. Most nerve wracking part of the whole thing is not having it fall apart on you. Oh jeez! oh no, oh gosh. No, no, no. Oh man, it's, oh, it's falling apart. Oh man. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 stop, oh god, stop, oh my gosh, this has never happened to me before, oh my word, of course it's happening, it's 2020, everything's falling apart in 2020, oh my word, all right, we're gonna work fast, we're gonna frost this, Cover up the mistakes, get it in the fridge. Oh no. There's nothing else I could do but then roll with today, right? I'm sure many of you are having a much different Easter as well. Some of you may not have been able to get your hands on your favorite food that you like to have or make. So I am definitely not going to complain about this sad, pathetic cake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, is, this is not happening. <sighs> I think what I'm just gonna do is get some frosting on this, hold the sides up with this parchment paper, get it in the fridge so it can harden, and it is what it is when we get it out cuz this is this is scary. Yep. All right. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. Remember that year when everything went wrong? It's going to be a hot mess when we eat it. But this tastes so good. I'm not going to care. I'm still eating it. I'm kind of putting the sides up so it kind of molds it in the refrigerator. Today on She's in Her Apron, I'm gonna show you, on purpose, a horrible way to make a cake. It's literally horrible. I've got the sides being held up by this parchment paper. Oh my gosh. All right. I can't even. All right, this is getting in the refrigerator. It is what it is. Here are the rolls. They sat there for 30 minutes. They really didn't rise much. They kind of just like spread. <laughs> Healing? The, the rolls are probably going to turn out like the cake. But I'm more afraid of that cake. I'm afraid of what it's doing downstairs in the refrigerator. All right, what I'm going to do is I have an egg white here. And I'm just going to brush the top with this. And then we'll get it in the oven, 375 for uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> These will be edible, but I don't know how pretty they're gonna be. Not like in the picture I saw on the internet. These are copycat Hawaiian rolls. See how they turn out. So ham, potato salad, deviled eggs salad and rolls well they taste really good it's a little doughy I mean not horrible but so the I'm not gonna give up on Hawaiian rolls I'm gonna try again but they're sweet they don't taste like true Hawaiian rolls to me do they do you no, no but they're good. yeah they are good so I'm gonna keep playing with and a Hawaiian roll recipe, so. But those are the rolls. Dinner was yummy, as you saw. Derek and I just was hanging out downstairs with Callie, talking about the wedding and changes and stuff, and it was so good. And I was about to get in the tub, I started running a bath, but I'm, I forgot, we have dessert. We need to go check in on that cake. Oh, I should have just made a trifle with it. All right. 
let's go check out the cake and then I'll get in the tub. Maybe I'll eat my cake in the tub. All right, let's go see how it turned out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's caved in the middle. Look at that. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, well, I'm gonna dig in and, and get a piece of this craziness. I was gonna top it with these lemon like candies, you know, to decorate it. Like, oh, look how pretty. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dig oh. in and oh, see how bad. All right, well, I did it from the one side and it seemed to cut good. Thank goodness it's cold. So here's my piece. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really worried about this side though. Like really worried, but we have dessert. It's edible and that's all that matters, right? So I'm gonna eat this in the bathtub. The family's gonna clean up from dinner. And then I'm gonna edit this video so you have it to, for today as you're watching right now. Um, yeah, so, all right friends, thank you so much for joining me. Derek and I are thinking of you, we're praying for you. Stay safe, have a good day, bye. Toodles! Toodles.